Okay, fifth grade. Here is the mythic creature um, research piece that I'm wanting you to do. This is the American Museum of Natural History page for mythic creatures. Uh, the link is in the Google Classroom. You will see Pegasus here. Um, gosh, I'm wondering. Looks like I've got mine really big. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. It was at 150%. We don't want it that big. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there it is. Okay, so mythic creatures. This is what we want to see. You can actually hit the little X and turn that off if you want to. Um, and that is really annoying. Okay, if you hover too much, it's going to disappear, but don't make it disappear. So mythic creatures, May 26, 2007. This was back in 2008, but it's an awesome website. I love that they still have it up. You're going to go to this blue word thingy where it says more in mythic creatures. There's a little menu bar there. Um, this is a little write-up about it and we're looking for these four things but if you click down here you're not going to get as much information as you do if you click here where it says more because we want to open up this magic box here on the side so mythic creatures water creatures of the deep land creatures of the earth air creatures of the sky and dragons creatures of power i'm not that worried about you looking at these if you really want to that's just fine you are going to find three different creatures one from well two of them i guess well no one from each but only three so you don't have to do all four but underwater if you click here you get this lovely drop down menu and it will show you a bunch of different things sea monsters nascar killer whale becoming mermaids mutating myths taming monsters and water pavilion now under what you're going to do is click on one like let's say you're going to click on becoming mermaids and it will bring you here which means that you are then going to be finding a piece of art um, your mythic creature document this is the document you're going to have here it says mythic creature research smithsonian website one creature name i'm going back look there's a mermaid right there so i would like you to read and find a picture of a piece of art. There are many in this particular section about mermaids. There's one, there's one, whoops, there's one, there's one. Okay, so there's a lot of mermaids here. So you're gonna look through, here's one from the Nuremberg Bible, 1483. Illustration shows a mermaid, a merman, and a mer dog swimming near Noah's Ark. That's pretty cool. And it's at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. Look at this, all this information is right underneath the photo. So here in your document, you would write creature name, mermaid, created date. What did I just say? Let's go back there. It's 1483, so you would type 1483. From culture, country, people. Let's see, who would that be? This would be the Nuremberg Bible. I don't know if you know this or not, but that's German. But it's at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, so you could put in London. Um, the object is made up of, oh gosh, you guys, what is that made up of? I would imagine it's pen and ink and paint on paper, possibly, because it's in a Bible, so it's a book. Do you see what I'm saying? So you want to do a little bit of thinking there. The object is made up of, oh wait, I just said that, paper. The animals that make up this creature are, well, do you want to do the mermaid or the merman or the mer dog? Whichever one you're going to put, it's a, if it's the mermaid, it'd be a woman and a uh, fish, dolphin, whatever. <laughs> the powers or strengths of this creature are, a mermaid can swim. Um, what else do you know about them? A merman. So that's creature number one. It's that simple. There are many options in here Hudson's mermaid I mean this is just I want you reading here is the little mermaid there's also um, here's a wooden weather vane so it's just and look they actually give you the name of the artist there an American coppersmith so here is Sedna this is another really cool story it's the story of Sedna it's one of the most dramatic tales of the Inuit people who live in the Arctic regions of Canada and Greenland it's a deadly tale of betrayal on the stormy sea you might want to read about it it's pretty interesting um, and we have, there's more of the story right there. It is kind of violent, so I will just warn you that right now. Not that you guys are strangers. So there's some more carvings. It's just, there's so much in here. And down here, this is from the circus. It's a, um, the Fiji mermaid. Want to take, make a mermaid? There you go. They give you the direct directions, a recipe for mermaid. Okay, so that's one section. And that's becoming mermaids. So I want to get back to the mythic creature thing. So if I go up here to the top, 
here's my little blue more in mythic creature words so i can click here and go to creatures of the earth griffin bones do you know about griffin bones so find that page right there look it's griffin bones you do need to read i expect you to do some reading to figure this out um in and here's my doc again so there's one two three these you have to fill this out you can change your font or the color of your font i think you guys know how to do that you're pretty clever but that is your assignment is to do that so here it is this is what it looks like mythic creatures mythic creature website tutorial that's what i'm making right now and then there's that and then there's your research all righty you can email me if you have questions thank you